Coders, I asked you to send me photos of your coding setup so I can roast them. Let's jump into this. I received a lot of different submissions after I asked you on Twitter, both in my Discord and in the replies. So if you don't see your setup here, definitely be sure to check out other videos where I might do this again. And if you wanna submit your coding setup, check out my Discord link down below. Now, it would not be fair for me to judge your coding setups without showing you my coding setup. Remember, my setup is also my Twitch streaming setup, so there's a lot happening. But even then, it does not justify the cable management that is happening with this. Look at this. I am literally holding up parts of my setup with a spin drift box. What is happening? This, it's a mess. I know there's keyboards, there's mice, there's cables. It needs, she needs milk. She needs, she needs some milk. It's a mess. I, I'm frazzled just by looking at it and I have to sit here every day. That's why I am qualified to make decisions about your coding setup. We're gonna start off with an easy, choice look at the setup it's clean it's concise no clutter is that a mewtwo figurine i can't tell i will deduct points for the rgb lights so you're getting a gamer out of town pig friend on twitter i'm gonna assume that also the last time you cleaned this keyboard was in the 90s that caps lock needs help please clean your keyboard. I want to see one of those people with the Petri dish swabs swab your keyboard. Normally they're like, oh, we'll come back in 48 hours to see how it grows. That's going to show up instantly on that Petri dish. Maddie Two Shoes on Twitter. Maddie, when I first saw your setup, I was like, wow, clean. Cables are organized. The desk is just concise. But then why do you have seven masks? Like, do you feel so alone while you're coding that you need to feel as though seven people are watching you at all times? I Twitch stream and I do that. So like, of course I get it. But when you walk into that room at night, you just look the wrong way. You're like, oh my God, like, they're everywhere. Space my name on Twitter. That keyboard is a choice. Like, you could have a beautiful keyboards and you show me this. When I see people who have numpads on their keyboards, I genuinely want to know if they actually use them because I bet you that 98% of the people who are software engineers who have numpads on their keyboards don't actually use the numpads ever. Justin Buist on Twitter. There is so much to unpack in this. In this. Like there's so much to unpack. Starting from the bottom, I love, I just adore the double mouse pad because you know that blue thing that's there? That's a mouse pad and you can use your mouse on it. But instead you got another mouse pad with the wrist rest, I'll give that to you. But you have the mouse pad where the mouse is a third of the size of the mouse pad. But why do you then, as you like look up, you have your computer just completely like stood up. It's like seeing a dog standing on its hind legs for more than three seconds at a time. It's just a little uncomfortable. When you're sitting at your desk, do you like to just like punch buttons on the screen so it feels like you're in a spacecraft punching different buttons and getting things to take off? It's so confusing, especially because you see that it's standing upright, leaning against another monitor. Does that monitor turn on? There's so many questions here. Why do you have that? I'm just confused with this one, honestly. Lorenzo dropped a literal fan cam of their desk with the, f I'm gonna sneeze. I'm allergic to this desk. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, I'm allergic to this desk. It's the fan cam with the RGB lights. I'm sorry, I'm allergic. Gip on Discord. I love how everything is in dark mode. The desk is dark, but then you literally have the most radioactive looking keyboard ever. I hope that when you type, you don't have to look at your keyboard to type certain keys because I can just imagine how shocking it feels to be like typing and in the zone and then just look down to type something and just go, oh my eye! Diva Hashish is out here serving the most, literally a photo of their setup with me on it. I feel like Diva's desk is the average software engineer's desk. It's got the big mouse pad, the external monitor, the laptop propped up. It's not exactly the most organized, but it's got everything that it needs to make it work. It's not exactly cable efficient or whatever. It's just, it is the desk. It is desk. It is, it is the desk of all times. Is that a phone? Is that a literal, 
like a, like an office phone, like do you pick up and you're like, hello? There's no receiver on the phone. Also, I know for a fact that when you took this photo, you literally looked at your desk, you pulled everything off that you thought was an aesthetic and then aligned all the little SD cards in the corner to make sure that it was just right so I couldn't say anything about it, but I'm calling you out. I can tell that it is not always like that. I know that your desk is not always this organized. Where's, where's the rest of your desk? Your keyboard is not even on the desk completely. It's hanging off the side. There's just so much to unpack with this one. Like why, where? Have you ever considered actually using the other like 90% of your desk? Just, just a suggestion, just a suggestion. Nekolai on Discord. I think what's more confusing about this is there's just a lot happening. First of all, you have not one, but two Twitch streams happening. One of which is mine, the other one, which I have no idea who it is. But then you have two mice, two mouse, mice, moose, mouse. But your mouse pad? Who is that? Is someone's face, which makes me wonder if I should be selling mouse pads with my face on it. So when people get frustrated while they're gaming, Howdy. they could slam it on the desk and slam their mouse into my face as like a way to get their anger out. This is the definition of a try hard desk. Just because it is so clean, it's so organized, it's so minimal. You have three of the same monitors. They're aligned perfectly. The backgrounds sync up with each other. Your desk is so clean, but I'm gonna nitpick. You can't have a desk this clean with cable management that bad. That cable management is your dirty secret. I know you have skeletons in your closet. I love Snooze's setup. It is just straight to the point. It's organized. There's no BS. It's clean. It's not cluttered but it has a personality. I'm sorry, this is my favorite desk of the day, genuinely. Emzra is doing it right. This is what peak performance looks like. This is what peak software engineering is. No bullshit, no distractions, no windows, no desk, no sound, just closet, just you, a chair and your code. You are entering the cave. In this room, you are solving P equals NP. There is no distraction. You are in the zone. This is the ideal programming setup. Well, besides the fact that you sent the blurriest photo ever, do you enjoy the impending feeling of having your code fall on your face? So when you put it up there, you feel more stressed to write code faster. Do you have like parental trauma of your parents yelling at you so you want the code to feel like it's yelling at you so that then you write more code? I just have one, one piece of feedback. Have you ever heard of a Clorox wipe? Your PC case is sick. It's sick. I love the infinity mirror, but I just would like to remind you that having more screens won't solve your loneliness issues. I thought my desk was cluttered and overwhelmed, but I think you've got me beat. My favorite touch though, is just like having the door handle that you can just like reach out and grab whenever you want to feel something or pretend you're holding someone's hand. I feel like everyone wishes their desk looked like this, but my favorite part is actually the fact that you're right next to the switchboard thing. I don't remember what they're called. So just in case anything happens, you can just immediately swap, switch off all the power. I don't know what you're doing and why you need that kind of power right next to your computer, but I know I can see through this. My one piece of feedback for Jather is, have you ever considered cleaning your desk? You don't even have one desk, you have two desks and there's Lysol wipes on that desk. There's Lysol spray and Clorox wipes on that desk. I don't know. It's just a concept you could organize. Are those crackers on your desk stale? They, they give off the energy that they're stale. Obviously, this is all in good jest. Everyone here whose desk I roasted submitted to get their desk roasted. Please don't take it too seriously. Whatever works for you works for you. Please don't stress out about it. What's more important is that you can work at your desk more than anyone else. If you wanna get your desk roasted in another video, join my Discord link down below, share a photo of your desk. Look forward to seeing more videos like this in the future. If you wanna find me online at other locations, I'm at Ending with Allie on everything, including Minecraft. Thank you so much for joining. Good luck. Have fun and don't die. Bye.